is trash day and it is absolutely freezing outside it's actually nighttime and uh, I'm ready to go out there and see if we can find something uh, I've got to stop by the mailbox anyway uh, I am trying out this new app here let's see if I can get it I don't know if you can see that it's uh, track my trip and it'll show me what streets I've already been down so this is kind of it's a free app and uh, looks like something I can use we'll try it out because um, I'm sick of going to the same places and that, that happens you know you end up going around the same block and around the same streets so yeah so uh, we'll head to the mailbox and we'll take a quick stroll around the neighborhood and, uh, and see what goodies we can find I think we found the looks like a one of those electric fireplaces and an air conditioner the refrigerator do I want the refrigerator no I think I'll, I think I'll hold off on the refrigerator hello everyone welcome to throwaway society and how's everybody doing I went out briefly tonight and it's very cold out I think it's like 17 degrees the winds blowing but I did find a few goodies and one of them is this electric fireplace. Now immediately uh, I waited a little while because it was a little wet and cleaned it up a little and plugged it in and it immediately uh, the lights went dark here in the garage um, so I had to uh, go down and fix the uh, breaker. Uh, it had tripped and uh, so I did a bunch of other things to it uh, just to find out what could be the problem here and first we'll get to the model we'll take a look here twin star it's a twin star 33 EF 010 GRA and twin star boy that sounds fancy doesn't it now these, this would have come in a wooden cabinet, wooden fireplace. Uh, this is the insert to it, so I did look it up, and I think it was like seven, eight hundred dollars when it was new. Pretty crazy price. Uh, we'll take. I did take the back off, so we'll take a look at what we got over here. It might be better actually if I turn this around. So let me. Uh, turn it around and we'll get some light on the back side and we'll show you what is actually inside of one of these things so let's get to it okay so as you can see it's pretty simple stuff here we have a blower motor which is it turns it was extremely dirty I did clean it out and in front of the blower motor we have a similar setup to a hair dryer there's some coils that heat up there and this turns and it blows it through the front here uh, here we have the circuit board which I had already uh, unhooked here we'll get a close look at it and you can see the theme here we have a few relays here we have a, a power supply a transformer right there 
uh, those yellow things are uh, noise suppression or arc suppression filters and we have a bunch of uh, interfaces where the you know obviously the temperature sensor is going to hook up to uh, the, the motor here and that relay there is what controls the uh, the motor and the blower but uh, I suspect there's something wrong with the transformer and we can't test that uh, but I might just do some things just to make it light up because I wouldn't need the heater part even though I have two of these already it's just a fun project to play with and make it work again without putting any money into it um, or it could be other things on this board you know it is made in China some of the components they use aren't the greatest um, let's take a look on the bottom here you can see uh, here is the light bulbs which I removed there's three of them uh, I removed them because I they have a similar socket to the bathroom night light so I had screwed them in one at a time and they all work uh, and over here we have a small motor that turns these I mean they're just shiny they reflect the light and you can see the cutouts in the back for the flame so as this turns it reflects the light and gives you the illusion of flames so kinda neat stuff not much to it there just a tiny little motor here you know you have these and these are they feel like they're aluminum but they're shiny I mean they could be a shiny plastic but that basically turns and the light bulbs work so I don't see why if we wanted to we couldn't take and just wire up kind of like we did with the shredder I don't know if you've seen the shredder video but uh, it was a kind of the same issue the board had an issue uh, but we just made it work by bypassing it we could do something like that here I wouldn't do it and include the heater I think it would be just something like an ambience thing you know if someone just wanted to have the light going it'd be much safer um, so I'm sure we can take and rewire some of this stuff and hook it to the switch and just have the lights come on in this motor turn but uh, I'm not going to do that tonight I'm basically going to probably do it tomorrow but I just wanted to get an intro of what we're dealing with here and kind of show what's inside of one of these things uh, people probably don't take them apart that much if this person would have taken it apart it was really dusty in here because as this turns it's going to collect you know dust from the air and uh, so I vacuumed it out and we're going to test each one of these components individually we're going to hook some voltage directly to them bypass the board and make sure they all work and then if it does work maybe we'll try to save it by just making the fireplace part of it work and not the heater because there's going to be issues because the control board uh, there is a temperature setting on the front I don't know if we can get in there you can see the different you can see the different settings we have there we have the flame on and off and we have this temperature setting there and we have a power switch here now these are all at least this and this variable knob here would be useful in other projects so even if we didn't want this to work I mean we could still use the electronics from it for other projects uh, I'm sure the switch is good we'll test all of that uh, so that's basically what's inside of one of these things really not much to it 
you know we pay a lot of money to have these things and uh, when you really look inside of it there really isn't much to it but we're gonna get to the second part of the video tomorrow where we kind of get into each one of these units there's two motors in here and a heater and we'll try to hook them up directly to power and see if they function um, and then we'll go from there so let's get to it okay so we've brought the uh, heater the fireplace that I had found in the trash inside and we cleaned up cleaned it up a little bit here and I put the bulbs back in I did test these bulbs individually see if we can get a closer up look here there's one bulb here two and three bulbs and we have some wires that are going through here and we have this it almost seems like it's plastic but it's real shiny and you could see kind of the effect the illusion of the flames as the lights come on this turns now I clean this because it was all dusty and uh, the flames probably wouldn't have looked that good and you could see in the back the cutout of kind of the flame pattern so as this turns, it gives it the illusion of the flames burning. And then up here, we have our blower motor uh, and heater, which is here. And we have a control board. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the control board, because I believe there's an issue with the transformer there because as soon as it was plugged in it would blow a fuse blow the breaker and uh, that's even without it being turned on so the first place it's going to go is that transformer so I think we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way the way it used to be we're gonna bypass China here and I can use some of these relays and things on this board for other things and I think we're just gonna have it hooked up to the switch where we turn it on and the thing comes on and we can also wire this blower separately with another switch to, to just have the flame come on and we can uh, turn the heater on separately if we want that okay so we have our board here and we had various connections to the board this was one of them and this actually went in to control the uh, motor below and the lights so we cut that out of there and we have this connection also that went to the control board and that's basically for these touch buttons to turn the heater on and uh, different settings like that and next to that we have the power switch which we're going to actually use that way we turn the power on uh, similar to the shredder video that I did and it will power on the lights and what we can do is I have a whole collection of various switches that I can uh, incorporate here to just turn on the heater if I want the heater on so we're eliminating China right here and let's fire this thing up and we'll get a look at uh, what it actually looks like inside an electric fireplace when it's running because we were successful in getting it to work now here's the motor here that turns this reflector and I tested that separately and that works and the black goes to the you can see the purple wire here which up here really becomes a black wire so what I've done is I've taken all the white wires and I've hooked them together and I've taken uh, the red here from the heater uh, going to the orange and the purple wires so it's pretty simple uh, not much in here not much in the fireplace now there is a diagram there a wiring diagram okay so we've plugged it in here I just have an extension cord here and I'm using my test leads 
two wires, just red and black, to connect power directly into the blower motor and also the light bulbs and the flame motor here that turns these reflectors. Now you can see inside there from behind kind of the flame effect that it gives. So there's three bulbs there and there is also a bulb up on top inside of there and when I turn it around you'll get a better view at that. So that's working good. The motor is actually very good. Heat's coming out so the heater's working. So what this basically verifies is there was a problem with the board and that's a good way to isolate the problem is test each one of the motors and the lights individually. And uh, of course I kind of knew from the start that it had something to do with the board. It usually does. So I'm going to turn this thing around and we'll get a look from the front. Okay, so here's the front view of the fireplace. As you can see, it's working pretty darn good. It looks pretty nice. It's a, it's a big one. Uh, we have heat coming out here, although you can't feel that. The blower is turning. And there is heat coming out is nice. It's actually pretty warm. And you can see it looks somewhat realistic. We have the bricks on both sides. Pretty decent for free. It was thrown in the trash. And we have some controls up here. If I can get closer. Those controls that I had shown earlier that we're going to use this power button. And maybe we'll use the temperature button. Now these are touch buttons that work through the board. So we're not going to be able to use these, but I can replace these with a switch, a regular switch. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just make sure the switch is okay. So I have my tester set to continuity and we have these upper two points on the switch. We're going to use the switch. That way when we turn the switch on it automatically turns these lights on. So we're not going to be using any kind of china here. We're going to bypass that. We're going to go directly to the switch just like the old days. So I have one test lead on the top uh, or the, the second down terminal and the first one is coming from the power cord going down and it's right here at the bottom we have our power cord here so let's turn the switch on here as soon as I hook up the other lead would be helpful Plug it here. Yeah, that's nice and tight. That's good. Just wanted to verify that's a little hard holding this while I'm doing this here. Okay, we'll unhook that top one and put the put one lead of the tester on there and I'm going to flick the switch and we'll take a look at the multimeter so it is zeros we have continuity the switch is good so what we're going to do is we're going to take these these wire that's connected to the second terminal there there's three of them and this one's going to go into the blacks and then we'll take the other wire that's coming from the power cord. It's going to go in the first one. And that runs through here and comes from the power cord. Okay, so we're going to do that. And what I'll probably do, like I said, is do a separate switch to tie in this blower if I want heat as well. 
Okay, so in my pile of switches, I happen to find a perfect switch that I could use uh, to replace these touch buttons that are in there. Uh, this here is what was in there, and that would have hooked to the board that we removed. Uh, so what we did was we put a switch, and this is actually from another trash find, this switch here. Uh, it happened to fit in these holes very nicely. In fact, the, the hole for the heater on and off it actually fit into. And we'll flip it around and take a look at the other side. But I basically ran and soldered some wires that will go to the heater. Uh, it's basically switching and making connection through all these wires here to the heater. Now you will see there is like a thermal protection circuit there. We did incorporate that as well, so if it overheat, it would break the connection and uh, it would turn the heater off. So I'll turn the uh, switch here and we'll get a look. And you can see that that works there. It's nice. So we'll turn it around and get a look at uh, the switch. It actually looks and complements the case nicely. Uh, so we're almost done with this project. Uh, it's working and we might try to put some different color bulbs in there. I think that would be cool. Let's see if we can get some different color flames going in there. Um, but let's turn it around and let's take a look at the front side of it again with the new switch that I incorporated in to control the heater and blower motor. Played pretty nice and it's uh, all been rewired and the faulty board has been removed and we've just hooked it up just like the old days. You turn a switch on, it comes on, there still is safety um, circuit there on the heater in case it overheats so I'm not worried about that so uh, you have a panel here that lifts up and you could see in there you can get a little closer is that's where the where you see the holes is where the old kind of soft touch button configuration was in there and that was used in conjunction with the board that was in there but now we have put a switch a turn switch which I actually where did I get this from I think it was a some kind of shampoo machine. It was a might have been a Bissell or a Hoover shampoo machine. So we'll turn the power on here to and that will turn on the flame. And then if we want our blower, we're gonna just turn and uh, it actually says heater there. We put it in the heater hole. And there is heat coming out, that's nice. The blower is running. So that's our fix for this trash find, this fireplace trash find. Um, if you like the video, hit like. Uh, leave a comment if you like. You know, if you have a similar uh, fireplace, um, subscribe if you want to see future videos. Um, it helps the channel. It helps me do more videos. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, you have a great day. And thanks for watching. There you have it. Not bad.